Hello world, from whichever time zone you're catching me from, my name is MD90. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so that you do not miss the uploads that come out. And uh, the easiest way for you, for you to navigate the channel is to head to the playlist. You'll find videos curated for you based on your interest. So if you're interested in the Kutika podcast, you'll find a playlist for that for news and trends. There's a playlist for that, exclusive, exclusive with MD90, a bunch of uh, playlists that are created based on your interest. So the easiest way to navigate the channel is head straight to the playlist and you'll find what you're here for. Now consider becoming a member of the channel. Uh, right next to the subscribe button is the join button. You click on the join button to, uh, so that you can become a member of the channel. Uh, you support the team on the production and the number of things that we're doing here and uh, we appreciate that. So Stephen Campiongo and his wife have been in court for a while now. Uh, they have a number of uh, court cases uh, that they are appearing in court for. So today there's been a major update with regard to those court, I mean, uh, court proceedings. Uh, in as much as the verdict hasn't yet been passed, but I just want to update you on what's going on with regard to the cases that they have in court. So the one that was uh, up for mention is the one that I'm about to update you on. This was today. So uh, this is news from the court. So from, for, um, former Minister of Home Affairs, uh, Stephen Campiongo's wife, uh, Wanizia uh, Chirwa Campiongo, expressed astonishment today over arrest and charge in court for uh, and over the indictment. She stated she acquired the said property through direct lease from the government of the Republic of Zambia, where she only spent uh, less than 5,000 kwacha in administrative fees and uh, as had, uh, evidenced by the Minister of Lands uh, Register. Addressing the court this morning during the defense before Magistrate Sylvia uh, Munia, uh, Mrs. Kampiongo, uh, a chief planner in the Ministry of Youth and Sports at uh, at Art stated that uh, the the change in uh, the charge in Court Four uh, regarding possession of uh, property property in uh, Chifuema valued to eight hundred thousand kwacha was inaccurate. She clarified that she did not spend that amount of money to purchase that property, aside from the statutory fees which she had stated, uh, which amount to 5,000 kwacha. Your Honor, she said, upon graduating with my bachelor's degree in economics from the University of Zambia in 2005, I was employed uh, in the civil service as a planner at the Ministry of Lands. During that time, I was allotted uh, several properties, including residential property in the uh, Foxdale area, a farm in Mukango, and another property in the Chifuema area, she explained. As evidenced by the documents obtained from the Ministry of Lands and uh, the Ministry of Lands Registry, uh, the property uh, I was charged with uh, possession of a valid due. Uh, valued, valued at 800,000 kwacha was an, uh, was an offer from the Commission of Lands to myself when I was a planner at the uh, Ministry of Lands. I only paid the statutory fees, which were less than 5,000 kwacha, she reiterated. Mrs. Kampiongo, a seasoned uh, civil servant, uh, further stated uh, confusion over, base, uh, over being arrested for property for which she only paid such fees. Uh, so Mag Magistrate uh, Munia uh, accepted Mrs. Campiongo's defense evidence as testimony in the matter and, and stated, and uh, ad advised to you to stay tuned um, to the court proceedings. So they adjourned it for, for, for a short break. Then uh, it came up for mention. So this is, this is a picture from files. Um, when they are appearing in court in an unrelated matter. But uh, then again, the court resumed 
Uh, she said, upon my graduation, my parents uh, gifted me, uh, that's Mrs. Kampiongo, uh, co continuing with her testimony. Uh, upon my graduation, my parents gifted me a house in Minwood, Ndeke, not as, a, not as alleged by the Anti-Corruption Commission. So, um, that's after the continuation of that matter. As the trial continues, in the case of the people versus uh, Stephen Campiongo and uh, Winizia Chirwa Campiongo, that's his wife, uh, the court today further ahead and saw evidence of how Mrs. Campiongo became the owner of the block of flats uh, in Minwood and Deke alleged to be uh, proceeds of uh, crime valued at 1.950 million kwacha. So that's a different property as you are following, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so these flats uh, are estimated to be worth uh, 1.950 million kwacha uh, by the Anti-Corruption Commission. Speaking this afternoon, she continued to give her evidence. Mrs. Kampiongo, a graduate from the University of Zambia, stated that upon graduating in 2005, with their remarkable results, a mother gifted her a house. And uh, in uh, 2022, the Anti-Corruption Commission charged and arrested her for allegedly procuring it uh, with money believed to be proceeds of crime. Uh, the particulars of, of the indictment are in Court 6. So as you can see, <laughs> there's Court 4 and Court 6. Uh, in Court 6, Mrs. Campiongo became, I mean, between uh, January, uh, 1st January uh, 2012 and September 30th, 2022, jointly whilst acting together with other people unknown, uh, possessed two semi-detached incomplete houses and a guard house, uh, which, is, um, which, which sits in Minwood Ndeke, valued at 1.950 million kwacha. In her defense, Mrs. Campino stated, following firstly, the house initially belonged to my, my late mother, she said, and upon graduating with a bachelor's degree in economics, I was given this house as a graduation gift. So she said the 1.950 uh, million kwacha Ndeke residence of flats were a gift from her mother, her late mother, she says. Uh, secondly, uh, Mrs. Campiongo refuted the allegations by the Anti-Corruption Commission that her property was as a result of proceeds of crime uh, and contested its, uh, its value. So she's saying the value of the house is less than what has been stated by the Anti-Corruption Commission there. And she provided uh, evidence according to this uh, court report uh, reported by the uh, Smart Eagles. Uh, she stated that uh, uh, on this particular property in, in Court 6, no fees were spent upon, uh, apart from such tri fees, those the, the ones that I earlier stated. She says she only spent 5,000 kwacha on that particular property. And uh, yeah, so the court uh, has adjourned and the matter, the uh, evidence has been um, accepted by the magistrate and I'll keep you updated as uh, the court, I mean, the case proceeds. And uh, continuing on with uh, court news, uh, if you remember this earlier this year in January, actually not in earlier this year, the first month of this year in January, the nation was awoken to sad news of uh, from uh, Minister of Information and uh, different portfolios during the MMD. Uh, Honorable Ronnie Shikapwasha was sh allegedly shot dead by his wife. So since then, she was arrested, but here are the details that have come up. So it seems like this uh, today was when she was being officially charged and the case has been moved to a different uh, court. So here are the details that happened in court today with regard to the late uh, Honorable Ron Shikapwasha. So Mrs. Shikapwasha has taken to the High Court for murder. Uh, the murder case involving uh, former Minister of Information, Ronnie uh, Shikapwasha, has been committed to the Saka High Court for trial. Uh, Saka Resident Magistrate uh, Keegan uh, Litia has committed the case to the High Court after Lieutenant uh, General Ronnie Shikapwasha's murder suspect Jen Lusengo, Lusengo Shikapwasha uh, appeared for explanation of the charge. Mrs. Shikapwasha, who is also Lieutenant General uh, Shikapwasha's late wife or widow now, uh, responded before Majesty Stutunia that she understood the charge. 
Uh, she could uh, not, however, take plea because the magistrate court has no jurisdiction to try uh, murder cases. So the case has been moved to the high court uh, to try murder cases. Earlier, Mrs. Uh, Shikapwasha appeared before Lusaka uh, Chief Resident Magistrate uh, Davis uh, uh, Chibuli uh, for allocation of the, the case. Uh, later, uh, Magistrate Chibuli allotted uh, the case uh, before Magistrate Lutia. Uh, Lutia. Uh, Mrs. Kapwasha has been charged. I mean, Mrs. Kapwasha was charged on January 20th, 2022, following the death of Lieutenant General uh, Ronnie Shikapwasha on uh, January 15th, 2024. She allegedly shot uh, Lieutenant General Shikapwasha uh, with a shotgun with serial number. They state the serial number of that gun on January 14th, uh, 2024. Uh, the shooting incident occurred on the 14th, uh, January 2024, at Lieutenant General Ronnie Shikapwasha's residence on plot number, they state the plot number there, in Osaka's Ibex Hill area. So this is when the case is proceeding now. She's been charged. Uh, probably now, oh, trial date will have to be stated by the High Court. I'll keep you updated as that happens. Well, if you remember from yesterday's broadcast, I stated to say, uh, in fact, it was news that was coming from the police command. The IG stated uh, they were about to start firing um, rogue, uh, alleged uh, rogue uh, police officers that are inclined to Edgar Lungu's uh, PF and are not obeying the current uh, regime. So Harry Karam, a uh, uh, position leader, has made his, his own opinion. So he says, Harry Karam calls for the dismissal of Inspector General of Police. So Citizens First uh, Leader Harry Karam, uh, uh, urging President is urging President Haka Indeshima to remove Inspector General of Police uh, Rafael Musamba from his position in order to allow for the professionalism and depoliticizing of uh, the service. Uh, reacting to Mr. Musamba's revelation that the Zambia police will start firing junkie police officers who were recruited by the Patriotic Front. Uh, Mr. Kalawa wonders uh, what criteria will be used to determine which police officer is politically incorrect just because you, they were recruited by the former regime of Edgar Chagualungu. Uh, Mr. Kalawa feels uh, the step being taken by the Zambia police under Mr. Musamba is against President Haka Indeichlema's position, who strongly condemned politicizing the civil service, especially the men and women in uniform uh, when he was in opposition. The opposition leader, Abu Hari Kalaba, has reminded uh, Mr. Musamba that uh, one of uh, the 2021 campaign promises by President Haka Indeichlema was to review the cases of uh, civil servants uh, including those uh, from the defense and security wings who were perceived to have been fired on political or ethnic or tribal lines. Meanwhile, the Socialist Party uh, is disappointed with Mr. Msamba over the intentions to fire several police officers deemed to be loyal to the previous administration of Edgar Chagualungu. Uh, party media director Brian Apunda has reminded Mr. Msamba that he is a seasoned police officer and has served under different regimes, adding to the police uh, officers in the civil, uh, I mean, police officers are civil servants and must be loyal to the government of the day. Uh, the Inspector General of Police recently disclosed uh, that uh, Police Service Command is embarked on a vigorous exercise to flushing out of the system politically inclined recruits. So, uh, this is news that I gave you yesterday. So, that's a reaction from Mari Kalawa and also. Uh, Brian Apunda of uh, Fred Members Party Socialist. Uh, what else is in the news today? Oh yeah, you must be aware that uh, Emmanuel J.J. Banda was uh, kicked out of parliament uh, and people didn't understand why he was uh, suspended from parliament for 30 days. That means you will not be paid for the next 30, for the, for the next month. <laughs> is not expected to get a payment or for sitting allowance or anything of that nature. So here are the details that have uh, surfaced to why he was kicked out of parliament. 
Oh, so Parliament puts uh, boots out uh, JJ uh, for 30 days. Drama ensued in the August House uh, as the uh, proceedings uh, at the National Assembly of Zambia were disrupted following a suspension of a Taoke member of parliament, Emmanuel Banda, popularly known as JJ, who was suspended for 30 days from the National Assembly by Deputy Speaker uh, Chisangano. Uh, uh, for, yeah, Chisangano for contempt of the House. Uh, following Chisangana's ruling, Banda reluctantly complied, moving from his seat and standing behind the bar as he as, as was instructed. Uh, he put up a show and was um, he put up a show which caused the, a commotion leading to disruption of the house uh, till 10 minutes break was given by the speaker. Before JJ Banda or Emmanuel Banda was escorted out of the house, um, up in Hams was, was trying to, with uh, Anthony Joshua, I mean, <laughs> they're illustrating the, the, the recent fight of Anthony Joshua. Before uh, Banda was escorted out of the parliament, he was uh, already up in Hams trying to do an Anthony Joshua outside uh, of the ring boxing um, of uh, on Cantobola member of parliament, uh, Clement Andeleki while lamenting that the matter could have been uh, sorted out uh, differently or amicably, or in, a, in an amicable way. Uh, while the drama originated from um, allegations uh, made by Andaleki that Banda had made uh, defamatory remarks in a video circulating on social media and other platforms, in the video, Banda allegedly stated that we are uh, we chased we were chasing from uh, Parliament uh, to enable them, meaning the UPND, misappropriate funds, which Andaleki deemed as uh, bringing the reputation of the National Assembly into disrepute. If you remember earlier on, um, JJ was part of the people that were kicked out of Parliament. It was the time uh, the Speaker kicked out uh, members of Parliament should have been for another thirty days. Uh, when they did the workout. So during that workout, he did the live stream uh, where they are alleging that uh, this particular statement came from. In response to Andaleki's complaint, Office of the Clerk uh, requested Banda to provide his side of the story on the matter in accordance with parliamentary procedure, rules, and natural justice. Uh, Kasonga, Kasangano uh, disclosed that Banda uh, cited a lack of access to the video footage uh, to fully understand the complaint and respond adequately. Subsequently, the office of the clerk sent a video footage to Banda via email uh, for his review. However, despite being provided the evidence, Banda chose not to respond to the letter sent to him. Uh, in a ruling, at Sangano confirmed that Banda's remarks constitu uh, constituted a breach of parliamentary conduct, which led to his suspension. So based off that live stream that, that he did when they were expelled initially, I mean, uh, suspended initially has caused another suspension on him. But in other news, uh, Edgar Lungu's PF camp has congratulated uh, Putin on his uh, resounding victory in the re election. So, and then they display that with a, a number of pictures uh, of uh, how Putin and Edgar Lungu are interacting. So some of the pictures you see, they are freedom scars where the laughing minister as he was regarded uh, earlier on, he was ever happy. Uh, you see Emmanuel Mwamba should have been ambassador to Ethiopia or South Africa at the time. Uh, President, uh, former President uh, Edgar Chagalungu and Vladimir Putin. And then this statement that is uh, coming from the Patriotic Front is being given by, given Luwinda, the party vice president, uh, in as much as there's this still dispute between Maus Sampa and uh, them. So given Luwinda writes, Your Excellency Vladimir Putin, we would like to convey our heartfelt uh, congratulations uh, on the occasion of your election as president of the uh, Russian Federation for the fifth term following the 2024 presidential elections held on 15th to 17th March 2024. Your re-election with 87% uh, of uh, the vote is uh, 
the highest of such a percentage in a presidential election uh, post-Soviet Russia demonstrates the ultimate trust and, forth, uh, and faith the people of the Federation have in your leadership and uh, commitment to the country. Your victory also symbolizes the recognition and acknowledgement that you have helped Russia achieve success and development. The Patriotic Front therefore recognizes that Zambia and Russia have enjoyed cordial relations and have shared mutual uh, corporations in military, economics, uh, educational, social, cultural, humanitarian, and other spheres uh, over the years. Uh, with your re-election, we have faith that the bilateral relations will continue to grow based on the mutual respect that we have shared and common values. We also wish to congratulate the United Russia Party and the state, that's the ruling party of uh, Vladimir Putin, for its unwavering support and faith in your candidature and leadership. We also hope to continue collaboration together on um, at party to party level. I kindly accept our, our congratulations and highest consideration um, on your re-election. And he signs it off, uh, given Luinda, Vice President of the Patriotic Front, Zambia. And uh, yeah, so that's the news coming from that camp. What is uh, President Haka Inde uh first tracks the dam construction to boost uh, irrigation. So President Haka Inde Ichirema has directed the Zambia Environmental Management Agency, ZEMA, and Water Resource Management Authority, WAMA, to expedite approval of dam constructions across the country. Uh, this initiative aims to improve water in, uh, harvesting and promote irrigation farming in response to the recent drought. Uh, it is a presidential order that dams have to be uh, have, have been on the application tables for consideration for so long. Uh, Lusemfwa, Apa, Mukushi River Dam, and many other dams will be approved by Zema and Woma without any delay. President Haga uh, Indeichema directed uh, during the launch of the early men's harvest in Mokushi farming block yesterday. He, however, highlighted the importance of following environmental regulations throughout the approval process. Uh, the president stressed the agency uh, of water harvesting to boost the irrigation and national food security. We must get into early men's production. And so we can bring maize onto the market early as possible. President Haka in the HMA state, I mean, said. Uh, we reiterated that the national budget review tax and levy waivers on irrigation and farming equipment as measures to support farm, uh, farming sector amidst the drought. What is uh, uh, Setwat set Parks, uh, a commercial farmer and owner of uh, Sadot uh, Farm, pledged to help and support emerging farmers navigate through the irrigation farming and current uh, throughout the current drought. Despite the challenges, the harvest, I mean, the harvest will be fruitful uh, for all of us, uh, PACs added. Zambia National Farmers Union President Jivas said the drought situation was uh, a turning point from a country's uh, rain-dependent agriculture to irrigation uh, farming. So that's what's going on with that regard. And then um, this, this is what the papers say. Uh, today, this was in the March 27, Sue Zesco, uh, alleged tribalism and selecting of dismissal of employ uh, uh, employees from Northern, Wapura, and Eastern regions. So 27 individuals have sued Zesco, saying they have been fired on tribal lines. This was published in the MAST. Uh, JJ's news of being kicked out of parliament. That's what's in the Daily Mail. Uh, UPND split over uh, uh, JJ's uh, um, suspension. Uh, what else is here? We need the truth, uh, with truth and the conciliation. Uh, the Catholic Church uh, calls for probably this is uh, based off the Osida statement where it's split, one half is supporting the Uka Alliance of Edgar Lungu, and the other one is supporting the UPND Alliance. So they're saying there's need for reconciliation with that regard. This is the revelation. 
Yeah, I've already stated this. I and mean, then Musa, this is in the news, Diggers. Musa condemns asset recovery. You cannot fight corruption by asking thieves to surrender what they stole. So if you remember, probably he's highlighting the case of uh, Faith Msonda. If you remember, the government went in, uh, into an agreement with uh, Faith Msonda with regard to the money that was discovered uh, in her house. And so Musa is saying that format of just uh, recovering the money without uh, persecuting people like that uh, is not helping. So people are just asking to say, he's the chair of the Anti-Corruption Commission, so how can he be issuing statements like this? Is he not aware? Uh, so just people are questioning, is he just a figurehead who's in charge with that regard for him to be asking such questions when uh, this is a body that is uh, chairing? These are images coming from Mokushu when the president was there, that's President Hakaide Ishrema where that the area statement I read came from. Some more images from you know, the Mukushi visit by the president on the farm. Uh, what else is here? Uh, these are images from parliament shared by the vice president, Diana Nomango, with opposition individuals just having a light moment, uh, as you can see here. Yeah, that's the news, ladies and gentlemen. YouTube channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button, you click on the notifications to get the notifications of every video that I upload. I try to upload every week, sometimes every day of the week, but definitely each week you expect a video. So make sure you click on the subscribe, like this video, and there is much more on the playlist. So visit the channel and see you around.